Hey, hi, this is Arindam Mukherjee and uh, today I'm going to show you the course agenda which uh, generally I cover in my uh, Commando training program. So before starting, uh, let me talk a few words about myself. I'm having around 10 years of experience in uh, this development industry. Along with this, I'm having international training experience. I'm a, I'm a Commando Java international consultant and uh, I would like to show you the course agenda which generally we cover in uh, the basic uh, uh, a moderate uh, commander training program so you can also opt for advanced training program so let me show you the agenda well it's gonna be a 32 hours course it's gonna be online or right now the condition is not for offline or classroom but yes we can provide offline training as or classroom training or, as well and uh, the software which you need uh, to do this is like you can go for macbook or some other operating system along with windows and uh, uh, you can download Commando wildfly or any other server like tomcat and i don't think weblogic is available for developer you can go for weblogic as well but uh, for that purpose you have to purchase and uh, you need Commando modeler to model your bpmn so basically you need uh, these things apart from this you need eclipse you need maven you uh, and you need to set certain variables like your maven home and uh, java home those things so uh, those things are part of my training program as well so all the things whatever you need to start your training that will be part of this agenda now you can see that uh, uh, why we need to or what is uh, bpmn and uh, what type of benefits we get while using any BPMN implementer tool like Kamunda or any other tools like ActiveVoss or Activity or Appian or JBP. So there are different number of vendors who which vendors are implementing BPMN. So what is BPMN, what is OMG and all those things will be discussed. And then how to download the software and uh, I'm gonna work with the community edition not the enterprise one. So how to get those things while doing the uh, development practice, uh, how, to, how to set up your environment and uh, then how to use Wildfly in my training env environment. Sometimes I use Tomcat, sometimes I use Wildfly. So I'll show you that and uh, how you can use Eclipse uh, and uh, while using Eclipse if you want to create any commander project. So for that purpose you have to manage the arc type or you have to add the arc type of Kamunda in the Eclipse environment so I'll show you that as well. Now after completing all the environment setup along with these all whatever it is mentioned uh, what you next and that is your first application how to create the first application now it could be a Eclipse based application or or sometimes it's like with the help of modeler only so I'll show you that right now. So this is your modeler tool if you want to draw certain thing like let's say you just want to design a BPMN so how quickly do it you can do it and look at here here I have just used a simple use task for example watch or approve something uh, this is not at all meaningful BPMN I just want to show you that how Quickly you can create a BPMN with the help of this modeler and if you want to do some uh, kind of deployment you can change the name as well here like look at here so let's say this is your hello world again okay so now uh, if you want to do the deployment how to do that to, with the help of this modeler okay now look at here I'm doing it okay so how to do the deployment okay before this i have to save this i'm saving this now the deployment is done after deployment how to see the deployed thing with the help of the cockpit so i'm i'm not showing you all the things right now i just want to show you the course curriculum but meanwhile i'm trying to show you some things which can bring more interest so look at here how to use this and then how to start the process so everything everything will be part of this training agenda look at here i have created a simple application and then i'm providing some business key oh my process is ready it's running if you not see that 
running process instance okay right now i'm not teaching you anything i'm just trying to show you that how to use different things now look at here this is my process which has been started okay how to see the pending task you can click on all task and you can see here Afro, hello world again again and look at here with the help of this task list you can complete your task with the help of this cock list the cock, uh, cockpit you can see your deployed process you can you can see your running process instance okay let's go back to the agenda again okay now look at here so first application deployment right away i have shown you how to do that deployment as well hmm. you have to use gamunda modeler introduction so how to use this modeler tool this tool is very strong it will help you to create your dm and bpm and uh, everything in efficient way you can do that uh, you, you need to learn how to use these uh, shortcuts and how to see the xml so everything everything i'll talk in this training program okay and uh, then 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 like uh, notation symbols so and the symbols which i have shown you just a few seconds back in the modeler all those things uh, what is participant what is gateway different type of gateways like parallel inclusive exclusive and then event based so everything okay then different type of activities so basically the notations are also known as activities like the task and those things so different type of task and everything will be shown and then events so timer event message event signal event alert event okay so all those things will be discussed here now i have shown you how to use the cockpit so what is the role of a cockpit uh, how to use cockpit for which purpose uh, we have to use cockpit everything will be discussed in this now next is like how you can start a process i have shown you how to start a process with the help of uh, not exactly cockpit it's actually task list how to start the process with the help of task list with rest call with java application so different way to start it even if it's possible sometimes i also show that how to do it from angular project as well okay and then how to write different type of task like service task user task script task inline script external script okay user task with form then receive task send task business rule task with the help of dmn okay dmn uh, will have very good discussion on dmn as well you can see just below to call activity i have mentioned that uh, all right about gateways so different type of gateways then even based process sub process like sub process and different type of sub process four type of sub process event based uh, embedded call activity transactional sub process and then you can see a dmn like business rule how you can implement some business rule with the help of dmn and how to decide hit policies to so different type of hit policies like any or first or collect okay or a priority so what type of uh, hit policy you need to decide so we'll have good discussion on that and uh, how to deal with the uh, dmn multi result or multiple collaboration of dmn with multiple dmns together then how to write a listener a user listener or a different type of listeners okay then uh, business error and technical error how to deal with business error how to deal with technical error how to do retry and those things so you can look at here error handling with the help of java bpm and error error handling with the event based sub process error handling with retry logic so sometimes maybe let's say but there is a technical glitch there is a technical fault and you just don't want to uh, don't you, you just want to keep trying for certain time for example let's say three times you want to make a try to call external rest, rest service so that type of things can be also done then Kamunda is coming with very strong REST APIs because it also wants to communicate with other, other application. So I'll show you all the details that how to deal with REST APIs to perform certain activities like how to deploy a process, how to start a process, how to complete a user task, how to get meta information about the deployment like uh, the count of the running process instance or count of the deployment. So different number of things will be discussed with the help of this common rest service then connector like uh, if you want to call a uh, rest uh, with the help of uh, connector how to do that okay then a spring framework how to deal with spring framework and common project together then process vers versioning at the same time if you want to run multiple version of the process how to do that how to complete previous versions pending user task 
then the H2 database, uh, important tables of H2 database, and uh, how to see the process data or the user task, all the details of H2, how to access it from the browser. Then the approach, if you don't want to rely on this in-memory H2 database, in that case, how you can change it to some relational database like MariaDB or MySQL. So that approach, how to do, where to do some changes, how to get the script, how to create that database environment before doing the change. Then BPM and process automation. Okay, it's like uh, uh, till now we have discussed so many things. So a little discussion about the process automation with the help of BPM and then Kamunda engine. Uh, what is Kamunda engine? How it has been designed? What are the uh, what are the building blocks available for this? What is the eco system of this Kamunda engine? So all those things will be discussed here. The Kamunda architecture will be definitely discussed. Then some best practices. And uh, if you have any more queries like advanced topic you want, for example, you want it with uh, Docker, you want to have uh, external LDAP. Okay, well, some more thing I have missed, I think, here that is like the authorization and authentication. That part is not here. Okay, I also cover that authorization and authentication how to do the user management, group management, or how to limit access. Uh, how to put some limitation on the access uh, let's say there is a user and I want he should be able to only access the task list not the other components so how to manage that okay so those things will be also part of this training agenda <coughs> and uh, apart from this uh, like uh, if you want to go for some advanced things like uh, multi-tenancy and uh, then some custom Okay, custom form for UI, I have not written here, but that is also part of this training. And then uh, any, anything which is advanced like uh, BPM and IO or form IO, okay, form IO and those things, if you want, in that case, we can have a discussion on those things. Okay, so this is about the training agenda, which I have discussed. If you want to communicate with me, you can just communicate. And I have given my details on the beginning of the video thank you guys thanks for listening if you need any kind of support in that case you can communicate with me thank you i'll be happy to help you yeah